Hello peeps, this is the trail, your trader is chick, where we trade indicator free other than the 21 EMA. Week two is complete. Other than the harsh day on Wednesday, we had a good week. As long as your winners outweigh your losses, you're good. Before I get into the trade review, let's talk about the rhythmic issues with Apex today. Now I've noticed that my entries and the way the platform was moving the last couple of days was kind of sluggish. When you take a look at my first trade, you'll notice the point value in the flag moves from red to green, but my PNL barely did anything until the trade was over. After that, the market was so slow, I decided to jump into Bye Bye Money's trade, and that and that's where they were talking about the rhythmic issues. It was problems with the entry and exit features, and we weren't supposed to take any trades until the problem was fixed. Now that message was posted around 9.20 a.m. and I took my trade at 10.15. So when the trade finished, I made sure to check my positions tab to make sure nothing else was open and the problem was resolved around 11. So my second trade, of course, was after stream. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now this brings up a good point. We really have to be in the know about everything regarding our trading from waiting for the proper setups to staying out during the news notifications regarding the software you're using to trade and including software updates and software issues and rollovers for this particular issue it was posted on apex's system status updates page which i didn't even know was a thing and I'll drop that link in the description. If you're an Apex trader, you should bookmark this page for future use as nothing was posted in the Facebook community and no emails were sent. Now let's go over my trades from this morning. My first trade, I took the lower high after two legs back to the EMA. Now, as you can see, we're in a downtrend from the top of that really large range. It just came off of the bottom and now it's midway through that trend channel. And this is where you could see if you look at the points in the flag, that flag is where I enter at. You'll see a little bar that appears and it'll change colors and see that red bar that's because it's a cell and there's little numbers in there because I have it set to points instead of money since I have money in the PL box but as you can see it goes from red to green but nothing's happening happening in the PL box and they really should sync together whenever it moves green the money should be green when it's red the money should be red so clearly there were some type of software issues going on in the background luckily i got a winning trade because i heard that some people got a losing trade because of it and apex is gracious enough to you know give them their money back so it wouldn't affect their account so luckily it went my way and I had no other issues. My second trade happened off stream. I took the second entry short at the EMA. Now this was after everything was over. It seems like everything was back to normal. The candlesticks looked good. It wasn't slow anymore and I took, it looked like to me that it was two legs back to the EMA. It didn't quite hit the bottom of that trend channel, but it was the low in that point. And it took two tries 
to it took a first try to go short just outside of the smaller channel but I'm also looking for that smaller channel to get a low so since this is a pretty strong downtrend I felt confident that when it bounced off the EMA that I could get my scalp for one point and of course this trade also worked out Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video and if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. It is truly appreciated. Shout out to those who hung out with me today during the live stream. If you haven't watched the live stream this morning, I've linked the video replay here. If you're a mom, have a happy Mother's Day. Be sure to peck that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys on Monday. May the trades always go your way.